Koskenkorva Valhalla, the spirit of Nordic legends. This is a great example of a product inspired by Nordic mythology. It is a Finnish beverage as indicated by its name Valhalla and the so-called Viking Compass as its logo. Well, no. Hopefully the opening made you start typing an angry comment. While this design looks good, everything that could be wrong with it is wrong with it. So it deserves to be torn apart and then redesigned into something that is actually inspired by Finnish mythology. Let's start with the name. Koskengorva is a well-known Finnish brand. Were they so insecure about their own heritage and folklore that they had to pick a Norse name? In Norse mythology, Valhalla is a hall for those who die in combat, while most end up in hell. Here in Finland, however, everyone gets the same social democratic treatment after death and they go to Tuonela. Then there is the Vegvisir symbol, often called a Viking compass. It, however, has nothing to do with Vikings nor Valhalla, as it was first recorded in Iceland in 1860. So let's get rid of that as well. For a more Finnish symbol, we could of course use the Hannun Vaakuna. But since Tuonela would make a badass beverage, it's better to illustrate Tuonela itself. The Finnish realm of the dead is ruled by the god Tuoni and his wife, Tuonetar. Here he is depicted as a skeleton dude holding a cup of what else but Tuonela herb liquor. The underworld itself is a grim place with the dead roaming around as ghouls. Although the place seems to treat the good and bad the same way, the rich might have an advantage over the poor. Iron Age burials often include sets of items, from swords and other weapons to clothing and jewelry, that would come in handy in the day-to-day -day business in Tuonela. The richer the grave, the more supplies, of course. Tuonela is said to be separated from our world by a wild river. To enter Tuonela, one had to cross the river, sometimes with the help of Tuoni's daughter. Entering Tuonela was a dangerous business. The living would sometimes venture in as well, as there they could learn useful and rare spells, for example. It is said that many have entered Tuonela, but only a few have returned. With this mini introduction to the Finnish underworld, don't you think Tuonela would make a much more fitting liquor? Share your thoughts and prayers in the comments. And if you happen to work for a beverage manufacturer, I would of course be happy to license this illustration. This was a small special episode before we return to the animated history of Finland. Do consider subscribing in order not to miss any upcoming episodes, where I will hopefully see you next time.